going to show you how I make my a, a pulley rig. But this one's for worm, worm baits, not for big baits. Um, breakaway lead, 7 ounce. 2 oh mustard uptide vikings. I like these because um, if you get them in a snag and this, you straighten them in a snag, you can bend them back and they'll stay rigid, they'll stay strong. Some um, shock beads. I've not used these before. I've used something similar, but these are the only things I could find in the shop. I don't like running beads. I'd rather have something that hides your knot and your swivel. Three swivels, one quick clip. Um, Sakuma circle circle hooks. Doesn't matter which circle hooks you use. And a pair of scissors. Watch next video for how I make it. All right, I'm, this is how you make me 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 pulley rig. Um, this is just for worm baiters though. So what I do is is I start off with my rig body length of line. I usually have about four foot to five foot, and I cut it off. I attach a swivel. I do a uni knot, which is the line up, make a loop, pass the tag end through the back, through the front, twice. So you end up with that. Wet it. Pull it. Oop. I like these knots. Uni knot. Very, very tidy, very strong. You only have to do a few turn, a couple of turns up with them. Then I'll put one of these sleeves, and you want it so the the bulbous end is going to be where the running the running swivel is going to be hitting. So basically, pull it down to your swivel, and what do I do? I push the sleeve over the over the knot, over the knot, and hopefully over a bit of me. That'll do. So it's over me knot anyway, right? So it's, it's protecting me knot from the swivel. So I slide the next swivel down. You'll see what I mean. That swivel now will just hit that hit that bead. And that's fixed. It's, it's not going anywhere. That's just protecting stuff. So that, that swivel is free running. Okay. So then I put my last bead on. I've done the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. Next, I mean, next bead goes on. So that's going to be facing the swivel. So you put it on facing the swivel, bulbous end on facing inwards. Uni knot again. I'll do it three times. There's cut it. Pull that bead over your knot, like so. So now you're left with your rig body with, with a swivel at one end, swivel and bead, swivel and bead, and then a running swivel in the middle. Right? Watch out for part two. So from that, you want to attach a fast clip to one of your swivels, and that is for your sinker. So now that's on. So one end of my rig will look like that. Fast clip, swivel, bead, right? And then I attach my sinker to that clip. So there's there's the there's the heavy end, right? And the reason I put a sinker on is to get me length and me hook length. So now I'll leave I'll leave the, the rest of the line on the spool, right? And I'll attach it to the end of the swivel where my snud's gonna go. Okay. Obviously you do your knot. One, two. Oh, I'll pull my bead along. So 
So there's my snud attached to my swivel. So now what I do is I grab my running swivel, my running swivel, right? I let, oh, I let me sink there, go down till it hits the floor. And then now what I'm going to do is, with the line still attached to the spool, run the line down the length of the rig body, right? Until I get just above, until I get just above the, the bead, and then I stop. That's the length of my, the length, length of my snud. You only want, a, I know it's a pulley rig, but you only want a little bit of giving before, when you're casting. Like, you don't want to be pulling your, your hook miles down your line to hook, to clip up. Just as long as it's pulled the line through the swivel a bit, you're perfectly fine. So now, just a matter of putting your hooks on, and then I'll show you it clipped up. All right, so, watch the next video. So, circle hook goes on first. Oh, this camera's horrible. Um, circle hook, 2 -0. I do prefer the eyes being turned back on these circle hooks. They sit in your line better. But I went to the tackle shop and this is all the all I had. So I'm not going to be... I'm not going to uh, complain. It's all I had. I still catch it. I just, I just like how the presentation sits. 2 -0 mustard viking. Obviously onto your line. Double uni again. One. Not double uni. A uni with a double, double turn. This line's £100. You don't have to use £100. That's just me. I don't want to lose fish. I don't want to leave my line to snap. Or cut on rocks and stuff like that. I've just made a mistake because I was talking, but do you know when you're tying your knot for your hook? It's a worm rig, remember? Your, your tag end should be longer than that, basically. I, I was talking, so I just cut it off like it was my normal rig, like a, a cart wing rig. But anyway, for demonstration purposes, that's the rig done. And now I get run and swivel. Put me, put me hook on the clip, on me sinker, and that's it done. Business end, clip down, run with the bead, run up, run all the way up to his swivel. Um, yeah, sorted. Done. That is easy, simple. That's simple rigs. I don't use all these flashy things. Things you don't need to use, like, I don't know, stuff that's been manufactured to smash and break. Simple, simple as you like. Hooks, swivels. There you go. See how, see how far between the bead and the swivel I've got that's ran through to clip down. That's all you need. And that snud now is about three and a half foot, four foot. And I like longer snuds because it the, the fish tend to swallow it either, swallow it better. Instead of getting shitty little knock knock bites, the fish just swallow it and run. So there you go. That's my pulley rig. I'll make a rough ground rig now. Right, I'm gonna make me rough ground rig now. Um and all I need for this is 100 pound line, 30 pound rotten bottom line. 6 or mustard viking up tides well mustard up tide vikings 6 or lip grip circle hook with the turn back eye that I was talking about paper clip canny link for the rotten bottom two swivels that's it that's my rig but I'll make it now so the first thing I do is make the rig body I pull about six foot off, slide on two swivels at the same time, they're on my line, pull a line down on itself so you've got the two swivels in your hand, so you make a loop, then you overhand, overhand loop it, one, five times basically, two, 
three, four, five. So you end up with that. Wet it, pull it, that's your overhand knot with two swivels at the top and a long rig body at the bottom. Right, so we cut off the tag end. Next step to this is your rotten bottom link. So what I do is, you're supposed to make a loop at the bottom of your line for these before anyone starts saying, oh, look at the ID like I've been saying. When you catch as many fish as me and as good fish as me, that's when you can tell me I've got any idea. All right, pal. But anyway, here you go. Through the loop on the canny link. Oop, make a loop. That's me parrot whistling. Um, make a loop. Pass it through. It's a uni knot again. I'll be going fishing tonight as well, so I might have some more videos for you. So yeah, that's the canny link on. And I get thirty pound, some thirty pound there. Uh, Rotten bottom line, motherfuckers. Again, same loop. Put it through the same loop. Just tie it on. So this is me rig body done once this is tied. So that's me rotten bottom line attached to me canny link. Right. Then from me canny link, all up the rig body to the knot, overhand loop, then two swivels on the top of that loop. I don't know why that's bent. But anyway, next part coming up. And we're back. So one of them loops, one of them swivels, sorry, is gonna be the main line. So main line. Rotten bottom down here. So you see where I'm going. Second swivel. That's what your snud's going to be attached to. So your snud gets tied on. Let me snud. And again, I do this, right? This is how I clip down this rig. So I hold the swivel up there, right? And then I run the snud and the rig body together until I've stopped just above the canny link and that's the length of my trace, my snud so then I put my circle hook on then my big hook, that gets tied on with the uni knot again <coughs> best knots out these Never had them fail on me, ever. Never had them unravel, never had a fish snap it, nothing. I think I think coupled coupled with with a hundred pound line, unbeatable like for tying rigs and stuff on. Just tying rigs. So there. It's my rig end. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the paper clip on in the next bit. Right. Paper clip. What you do is you straighten the paper clip out, this will probably snap because it's rusty. Couldn't find any, couldn't find the other ones, I don't know where they are. But anyway, oh no. So straighten your paper clip. So then you've got one end, it's like an L. So it's like L, yeah. The fuck? Um, what you do is you feed it through the back of the eye of the, of the fixed hook. So put it through the back. So you've got a tag end coming out the back of the hook, like that. And then... You just spin the hook and put the rest of the paper clip down the shank of your hook. I'll show you. Until you've got another tag end coming off the opposite end there. So now that's rigid, that's in place, that, that's not moving, that's not going anywhere. So you've got, you got tag ends coming off, you know what I mean? The purpose of that is if you get a bait, you stick the prongs in the bait. So the bait gets attached to the back of your hook. So the, my bait will be tied to the back of my hook. So then you've got all of this gape free. So you've got more chance of getting a hook up. And then you've got less chance of your bait going up your line. You know when you, you're fishing and you're reeling your baits up your line? This eliminates that. Never ever happens to me anymore. 
Never. It might end up bunched up here, but it never goes past the paper clip and up the line. So that's how some people get loads of false. Some people get loads of false bites with the bait up the line. So the, the striking of bites and they're not there. So that's why sometimes you get a foul hooked fish. Do you know what I mean? In its side, in its head, anywhere, in its arse, the lot. Because your bait's up your line. So when it's biting at that, you're pulling. And the, the hook's striking on its side. You might learn something now, you might not. So that's my rough ground rig. Anyway, I'll show you how, it's, how it clips down. So, I attach the rotten bottom line to be sinker. Don't know why I cut that much line off, but hey ho, hey ho, come on. One, two, uh -huh. <clears throat> so there you go. That's me, that's me sinking on the rotten bottom. All you do is, can you link? That's me sink. That's me sink there, on the canny link. See it? What I do is I put my thumb, so it keeps the the clip inside the canny link. Get me uh Get me hook end with a bait on. It's gonna have bait on. Clip it on the on the top end of the canny link. So now, that. Look there. Your rigs just start doing what the fuck it wants, man. It's like Conor McGregor. Oh, yo, so. There you go. So that's me rotten bottom line hanging off. But then, me hook is attached to me canny link. And me canny link is attached to me sinker. So that's how you clip down this rough ground rig. All of the load is on the hook length when you're casting. So I use a 100 pound line. It's not going to snap, it doesn't straighten the hook. Been doing it for years, proven that it works. Thank you very much. Just here, hit my water. I got a bright puppy for it. Fucking two hours, three hours, what a pull. Aye. And fucking sort of knee wear, rod goes. And up this. It's <laughs> just come off about three pounds or something. Another bad fish, first fish. Won't be a few more on the ebb. This one. Since high tide, it's gone nuts like. Well, it's all right, fishy chuck. I had that one first three pound. That one's about pound half, two pound. And this absolute red lump. About five pound, but it's short and fat. Nice heavy fish. Mint. Come on, lads. Oh, yeah.